It is taco night at the Burnstead House, and while those seasoning packets work fine in a pinch, today on Cooking In, we are kicking things up a notch. We're making chicken tinga tacos, courtesy of Chef Manu Alfao. Known for big, bold flavors, Manu is the chef and owner of Manu's Bodega and Manu's Tacos, both located in Pioneer Square. At Manu's Tacos, the team is serving up street tacos, burritos, and house-made salsa Monday through Friday. Folks can stop by for a grab-and-go lunch or order online for either pickup or delivery. You better believe these chicken tinga tacos are a staple on the menu, and I'm going to try my best to recreate them here in my kitchen. To start, we gotta get our chicken cooked. And to do that, we're essentially gonna make an easy and quick chicken broth at the same time. You could use chicken thighs for this recipe, but I'm going with chicken breast. Place the chicken in a large pot, then cover with water. Season with a good amount of salt, add a bay leaf, and crank the heat. Once the water comes to a boil, reduce the heat to a simmer and cook for 12 to 15 minutes. All right, our chicken is looking good, so we're gonna take this out of the water, place it on a plate to cool, and then we're gonna get our sauce going. The sauce comes together fast. In a blender, add Roma tomatoes, cumin, garlic, chipotle chilies, and a ladle of that chicken broth. Then blend until it's smooth and set the sauce aside. All right, our chicken is cooled a little bit. Now we've got two forks and we're gonna shred it. This is where you get your workout in. Use the forks to pull the chicken into fairly small pieces. And don't be afraid to use your hands if necessary. We've got our chicken cooked. We've got our sauce ready. Now it's time to bring this whole thing together. In a saute pan, add a tablespoon of oil and your julienne onion. Cook the onion for about five minutes until it's translucent. Now, if your onion starts to brown a bit like mine did, the pan is probably a little bit too hot. But hey, no harm, no foul. Then add your sauce and bring it all to a boil. Reduce the heat to a simmer and add all that chicken. All right, everybody is in the pool. Now we're gonna cook this down for about 10 minutes until that sauce is reduced and that chicken is nice and tender. While that's working, we are going to heat our tortillas. You can do this on a griddle or in a pan with just a splash of oil. When the tortillas are soft, wrap them in a clean dish towel to keep them warm. All right, our chicken has been cooking for 10 minutes, but I'm a little concerned that, per usual, I have used too small of a pan and it may not have cooked properly, which means we've got a taste test. No, it's beautiful. It is time to plate this up. To make the tacos, scoop some of the chicken mixture into the tortillas, then top with chopped cilantro and diced onion. Garnish with lime wedges. And if you want to spice things up, a little hot sauce is never a bad idea. And how great does this look? Unbelievable. Spicy. You get a little bit of that citrus from the lime. It's a rich, rich flavor, and that chicken is perfectly tender. I mean, you have done taco night, but you haven't done it right until you've had these chicken tinga tacos.